practice transfers often so that you become proficient at the task before you try to lift a resident. Practice lifts from bed to wheelchair or chair and from chair to bed. Read and understand the owner operator's manual. Safety is most important when performing lifts and that includes your safety. Always use good body mechanics. Keep your center of gravity low and use your leg muscles. Separate your legs to establish a broad base of support. Keep your spine in natural alignment and never twist while lifting. Always inspect the resident's sling before using it. Check for wear, tears, and loose stitching. Bleached, torn, cut, frayed, or broken slings are unsafe and should not be used. Invicare's Get You Up Stand Up Lift is a valuable tool for transferring partial weight-bearing residents as well as those that need rehabilitation support. The Get You Up makes it easier to assist most residents from one seated surface to another seated surface. Invicare Stand Up Lifts are made up of three assemblies, the base, the mast, and the boom or lift arms. The base rides on four low friction casters for easy maneuverability. It has a foot plate and two easily adjustable and locking legs. They can be opened and closed by using this padded shifter handle. To open the legs, grab the steering handle with one hand and the shifter handle with the other hand. Push the shifter handle to your right to lift the locking pin from the closed nesting position on the base. Turn the handle clockwise until the locking pin drops into the open nesting position. When this happens, the legs are open and locked. Make sure that the locking pin is properly nested. It's very important that the legs be fully opened when lifting a resident. If they're not, the lift won't be able to achieve proper weight distribution and balance, and that can result in an injury. To close the legs, just reverse the process. Grab the steering handle with one hand and the shifter handle with the other hand. Push the shifter handle to your left to release the locking pin from the open nested position. Then turn the handle counterclockwise until the locking pin drops into the closed nesting position. The next assembly is the mast. Here you'll find these ergonomically designed push handles, the hydraulic pump assembly, which does the lifting. Notice that you can rotate the handle from side to side, very convenient. And the contoured knee pad assembly, which is adjustable to three comfort positions. The mast also has this badge, which lists the unit weight capacity for a quick safety reference. And finally, attached to the mast are the lifting arms. It's to these arms that the sling attaches. They secure onto one of these three knobs. If you're lifting a tall person, someone over 5 feet 10, then use these knobs on the end. If you're lifting a person of medium height, someone between 5'6 and 5'10, then use the knobs in the middle. And if you're lifting a shorter person, someone 5'6 or shorter, then use the knobs closest to the mast. Although one lift works for multiple residents, it's recommended that each resident be issued their own individual sling that corresponds to their size, medical condition, and the type of transfer that they require. Invicare slings are constructed of soft, durable, solid fabric with padded areas for extra comfort. They feature multiple hookup loops so they can be adjusted to the resident's body size. Standing slings are for residents who have both neck and head control and can support the majority of their own weight. They provide support from around the torso. Transfer slings are for residents who have neck and head control and can support at least a minimal amount of their own weight. They hook under the resident's legs and support the torso. 
When selecting a sling, be sure to consider the resident's weight and their ability to bear weight. Always check with a physician before selecting a sling. Although Invicare lifts have been designed so they can be operated safely by one caregiver, it's recommended that two caregivers perform all resident transfers. Before you attempt any kind of a lift, make sure that you understand the resident's limitations and ability to assist with the transfer. It's a good idea to communicate with the resident throughout the process. Let them know about each step before you perform it so that the resident is comfortable. If you explain each step as you work through it, your resident will learn the routine and become comfortable with it. Let's watch some typical transfers using a stand-up lift. 